So Mr. Shaky. <laughs> so Mr. Shaky, being a blocker, is it hard dating? Would you say it's hard dating? I think being I think it's hard dating for anybody, but I also think that the more known you are, the more difficult and challenging it could be yourself. So we see that you see your post now, we see that you're happy, you're in a relationship now. So can you tell us a little bit about that? <laughs> I'm just <gonna> <laughs> <laughs> well, first tell us what does he bring different than your last relationship? Because we know, you know, being a blogger, you might, you know, drop some tea on them. So they better make a right choice when you come to take the place. <laughs> okay, so I'm not a per like okay, I'm not a mean person. But if you cross me, I'm going to destroy you. That's, yes. that's what I'm a Sagittarius. With, there's born. You're on, a Sagittarius. I'm yes, Sagittarius. we're both Sagittarius. <laughs> Why is he on a nice person? He's on a different. Because I'm part of on a Scorpio side. Um, I'm on Scorpio, so you're on the Capricorn side. Mm-hmm. What's which are you on the seven? Of the seven. Mm-hmm. Well, you don't know. You're still full blood. Oh, he's, he's a full blood sage. I'm a I'm a Scorpio like seven. Yeah, because right. mm-hmm. you know, just because it's the, just because the date look at this one. So a constellation to give someone a, a certain characteristic or personality trait. It's a power, Let me turn to the side. It's a powerful <laughs> thing. So don't think just because the sign is out of the, the out of the center part of the sky that the other sign is going chilling. No, there's still a little in every sign, depending on where it is. By the seventh though, it's just like right? the sage. But the Capricorns coming into play around maybe like the tenth or twelfth or fifteenth or something. But I'm born. I got, I got a lot of Scorpio traits. So the Scorpio traits is the vicious. I'm going to sting you. That's not a sage. That's sage is more on the sweet side, but he, he the type that you don't want to cross him to cut you off. Sage is the definitive side. I'm going to be your best friend and your worst enemy, and there's nothing in between. So by me being a sage and then having a Scorpio viciousness, it, it kind of gets so. If I'm your best friend, I'm going to be viciously your best friend. I'm going to, I'm going to give you everything. I'm going to. There's nothing I want to do for you or anything. But if I'm your worst enemy, I was nothing I won't do, there's nothing off the table I won't do to you. Right. Because and that's what that's how. So, you know, it's, it's just what it is. Um So what church did he bring that your ex did? Because you know, we all know what you got. So, so my ex I felt okay, to be honest, my ex I felt like I was single in a relationship. And it was just a, a, a point of realizing, okay, like this I deserve that. And so I was like, you know, fuck it, I was just saying all uh, uh, for like this is not it's not working. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I was just thinking it can't work. I can't yeah. find nobody that gonna understand me, then accept a, all this stuff that comes along with what I do. And um so I wasn't expecting, I wasn't looking, I wasn't doing nothing, and it just was like he popped up and it was like, Oh, you're not in a relationship with me? Well, you know I've been thinking since our situation. Uh, I actually met him online, um, on the app. The app that you were mentioning earlier. Mm-hmm. Um, he came in my room one time and he was trying to play a game on me and I cussed him out and I told him all kind of stuff and I was in a relationship at the time so he would respect me uh, and I threatened to kick him kick off the app. So he turned out hating me at first too. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah, and I can't. <laughs> and I can't. It's the fool for me. <laughs> yeah. I came in viciously at him and he hated me at first but then um, he just kind of stuck around. Something about that turned him on like that. It was just like this bitch is really confident fat back home. And so um so he just kept kinda of coming popping about lives and stuff and throwing a little gift and popping out, popping in here and throwing a little gift and popping out. Like you never give you the flowers. Yeah. Give you flowers. But, so when our relationship ended and it was just like an obvious thing, he kinda of like made himself known one time though. It's like, who's your who's your team? And so um I think the rest is just to us like Like um, we started talking on the phone. Uh, then, then we had to evacuate New Orleans for the storm, and so he was just like my friend through all that. Uh, so I went to Dallas, but I'm single at the time, so I was like, let me go play. And I was bombing, I, was, I had a little thought date. Mm-hmm. Um, let's talk, let's talk, let's talk, let's talk. Are you listening?